After over three decades of observations, the Hubble Space Telescope has enabled scientists to arrive at a more precise value for the Hubble constant, a value that describes how fast the universe is expanding and when it sprang into existence. Although the value of the Hubble constant was first estimated almost a century ago, the uncertainty around the value was so high that the age of the universe calculated using the constant could be anywhere between 8 billion years to 20 billion years. In this video, I tell you more about the Hubble's constant, why it is so important to get its correct value and how scientists have arrived at the most precise value yet. I am Mohana Basu and this is Pure Science. The Hubble constant is one of the most important numbers in cosmology. This is because it tells us how fast the universe is expanding and it can then be used to determine the exact age of the universe. Edwin Hubble, an American astronomer, was first to calculate the constant from his measurements of stars as far back as 1929. Hubble constant is most quoted in kilometers per second per megaparsec, thus giving the speed in kilometers per second of a galaxy that is 1 megaparsec or 3.09 into 10 to the power 19 kilometers away. Edwin Hubble originally calculated the value to be around 500 kilometer per second per megaparsec. Generations of astronomers have improved upon Hubble's original methods and developed new ones, bringing down the Hubble constant to around 70 km per second per megaparsec, but there's still a big way to go. Even though astronomers can now make incredibly precise measurements of many more galaxies and stars, different methods for measuring the Hubble constant is still producing different results. Based on the fundamental physics that we understand today, the value should be around 68, but this doesn't match up to observations of the actual stars and galaxies astronomers observe. Because repeated observations throw up different values and because scientists have not been able to agree on the precise value for decades, researchers believe that there are some other forces at play that account for this discrepancy. So arriving at this precise figure of the Hubble constant could help us understand what is missing from our understanding of the universe. Now an additional hurdle to arriving at the precise measurement of the Hubble constant is that the value is not actually constant. Albert Einstein's equations of general relativity actually opened the door to understanding that the expansion of the universe is driven by all the mass, radiation and energy contained within it. Now, equations derived by Russian physicist Alexander Friedman can be used to predict how quickly the universe is expanding mathematically. These equations show that a denser universe expands more quickly, so expansion was fastest when all of the particles in the universe were packed closely together right after the Big Bang. That means over the past 14 billion years, as stars and galaxies spread out over the vast distances, their accompanying energy and radiation also spread out and thus the rate of expansion slowed down. We can use the Hubble constant to make a guess at the age of the universe simply using the equation speed equals distance divided by time. The Hubble's constant tells us the speed of an object and at any distance and since the distance between all the objects in the universe before any expansion must have been zero, the time in this equation must be the age of the universe. Depending on the value of the Hubble constant, this gives an age of about 14 billion years, which is close to the current best estimate of 13.8 billion years. The speeds of the farthest stars and galaxies that we can observe don't match what the Hubble constant predicts. Because the light from a distant object has traveled for billions of years to reach us, our observations are not only affected by the present day value of the Hubble constant, but also what it was when the universe was expanding more slowly. One of the reasons proposed by scientists to explain the discrepancies of the Hubble's constant is dark energy, a mysterious unobservable energy that doesn't spread out even when the universe is expanding. 
Another mysterious character that could account for discrepancy is dark radiation. This theory proposes the existence of a new class of subatomic particles which travel close to the speed of light and zip around in the universe, driving its expansion. Or there may not be any extra energy or radiation at all. Dark matter might just interact with the universe in a way that hasn't yet been built into scientists' understanding of physics. The true value of the Hubble constant could indicate that the universe has more dark energy than previously observed, which could explain what drove early expansion of the young universe. This could give scientists new information about the fundamental nature of dark energy and how it has behaved throughout the universe's history. So how did scientists arrive at the most precise value of the Hubble's constant yet? The Hubble Space Telescope has calibrated more than 40 milepost markers of space and time to help scientists precisely measure the expansion rate of the universe. These markers are 42 supernova or exploring stars. Because they are seen exploring at a rate of about one per year, Hubble has, for all practical purposes, logged as many supernovae as possible for measuring the universe's expansion. Now, how these markers have moved away from each other over time tells us about how fast the universe is expanding. There is still a discrepancy when observing the local universe. The Hubble constant is about 73 kilometers per second per megaparsec. But when observations from the deep space were taken into account, the Hubble's constant is lower at about 67.5 kilometers per second per megaparsec. Given the large Hubble sample size, there is only a one in a million chance that astronomers are wrong. Astronomers are at a loss for an explanation for the disconnect between the two expansion rates, but it does open up a new questions about the evolution of the universe. Scientists across the world continue to explore different equipments and methods to calculate the precise value of the Hubble's constant. While a century-long quest for a single number may sound frustrating, scientists are actually very excited because this discrepancy points to the fact that they may soon learn something new about the universe. This is Mohana Basu, Special Correspondent at The Print. If you like our work, do consider paying for a subscription to The Print. You can do so through the link in the description box below.